Gugu Gaga sounds like nonsense, but maybe baby wants to say something and can't find the words. Child development researcher Susan Hespos thinks this might be so. We wanted to look at infants before they have language and see, do they have thoughts? Hespo studied 32 five-month-olds as they watched hands place a cylinder into tight and loose-fitting containers. She wanted to see if the infants noticed a difference in how things fit together. If you presented adult English speakers with it, they would gloss over the distinction. They wouldn't notice it. It's not captured in our language. The babies watched as long as what they viewed was new, but looked away once the action was repeated. The results, published in the journal Nature, would suggest that pre-language infants notice concepts the English language fails to emphasize. So this is adding new evidence towards the argument that thought does precede language. Hespos's work builds on previous studies of baby brain function. French brain scientist Stanislas Duen captured MRI brain scans of two-month-olds to peek inside the infant mind. There has been a huge debate as to whether the infant brain is a blank slate. His tiny test subjects listened to a recording played forward and in reverse. The brain scans showed that babies could discern between backward babble and structured sentences. One of the things that we have learned from this study is that the brain of the infant is already well organized. And understanding brain development can help when things go wrong. If we can figure out what is typical development, it'll lead us to better understand what's atypical development. And that's thinking ahead. I'm Orin Schoenfeld.